going to be a new series on my channel, basically taking the, um, I've got to talk softly because someone's doing her morning nap, but, um, doing the fabric hauls. Y'all like the fabric hauls so much, and I don't know why it's taking me this long to think of this idea, but this is like the post fabric haul. So this is once all the garments have been made, kind of showing you what, you know, what actually was created and what videos go along with that and sort of just like the aftermath. Um, so let's start with Valentine's Day. Um, Valentine's Day, Daisy was about six weeks old or so, so this is one of the first things I made for her. And this um, is an old fashioned baby gown pattern. It does run, see the pattern says that it fits up from infancy up until like 16 pounds. So it is, you know, on the larger side when you're doing, um, a, like, you know, a fresh baby. Um, but I think it looked really sweet on her and it has plenty of, room, of growing room so you could, um, you could, you could wear it, you know, down the line. Hi, I didn't mean to wake you up. Go back to sleep. It's okay. Go back to sleep. So I have a video tutorial on the um, embroidery work for these little shadow hearts um, and it shows you how to do, I don't, I don't remember if I did a tutorial on the gown itself, I might have, oh no I did, I did do a tutorial on the gown itself, uh, everything as always will be linked down below, um, but then I also have a tutorial on how I did these shadow smocked hearts, um, not shadow smocked, um, just shadow embroidered hearts and it's using French, it's a little bit, it's a, it's a play on, on the traditional route. So. Um, so that was Valentine's Day for Daisy, and then for Sweet Henry, I did a Robert, and it was my first time using the Robert pattern, and I think it's really sweet, definitely a pattern I want to use again. This was the shirt, and then here are the little pants that go with it, and I think it's really sweet, and I love the detail around the pocket, and um, I, if you don't know, I um, only do hand done buttonholes. I, I started learning hand buttonholes because my machine was just, it was very aggravating and a stressful situation and so it should not be a stressful situation or aggravating or anything like that. Um, my machine, like you would get this, you know, garment that was basically done but the buttonhole and then my machine would eat it and I don't have a cheap machine or anything like that. Um, it's happened on a number of machines. I feel like a lot of people can relate to that. And so I said forget it. And I've done hand buttonholes ever since and I have not looked back. And they are delightful. Delightful. Um, I have been meaning to do an updated video on hand done buttonholes. I have one as an old video but it's got, got some good information but I also have some more information to add to it. I did that video like, I don't know, five years ago or something. Anyway, so this was Audrey's Easter, or not Easter, Valentine's Day dress. I think it's really sweet. I love the little intertwined hearts and I just like this little pattern. This pattern, I think the bishop, yeah, the bishop is, is the um, it's the one with the darts. It's not Louise. It's the one with the darts. I think it's called Victoria. No, that's not right. I'll, I'll, I'll reference it. Yeah, it's sweet. I I don't really use any of the skirt patterns, especially if they're a rectangle, because I'm like, what's the point of me cutting out a rectangle? I'm just going to measure what my child needs and then rip it on the grain. So that's what I do for skirts. It's way easier. And then it's got this red tie in the back. And I'll get hand done on holes because they are delightful. They just are, they're just delightful. Um, so then this is a sweet little number. This is a, a gown that I drafted up after the um, old fashioned baby gown, that Valentine's Day gown I just showed y'all, was you know kind of swollen or whole. I was like, I wanted something a little bit more fitted. Not that I, I'm not complaining about the old fashioned baby gown part. It's just a different style. It's a, it's a very loose, you know, um, open style. And I wanted something a little bit more fitted. And I went a tiny bit too fitted with this one, but I learned a bunch drafting this, which will take me to it's it's coming I'll show you some more in the video but so I also drafted this little collar and I did the embroidery work on it it's so sweet um I think so at least and of course her name being Daisy I did a play on that and it's got little daisies on here now I did cut work embroidery on here by all means if it intimidates you but you still want to try this you think it's really pretty or something you don't have to you could do shadow work embroidery you could do the satin 
satin stitch, you could do a pad satin stitch. There's a bunch of different ways to make it your own and not, you know, to have to do the cut work embroidery. So if that is what's stopping you from doing this and otherwise you want to do it, then jump in and do another stitch. Um, you know, no big deal with that. This is my also my first time using Burmisama, if I can say that correctly. That Batiste, it's lovely. I will definitely be using it again. It is just divine. I know it's a pretty penny, but it's really, really nice stuff. So that is uh, another thing that I made this last spring. And then, this is another old-fashioned baby gown pattern. I do like her patterns. I'm not trying to talk bad about them. They do run big for, like, fresh newborns, though. Just an FYI. But they are very pretty. I'm actually having a sew along for this pattern, and it's all edited. It's all up on YouTube right now. I just got to do all the thumbnails. Just I have to do all the thumbnails and the end cards, and there's a whole bunch of crap that goes on. That like, even though they're, all the videos are done, I probably have another couple hours just of thumbnails and all the links and all the. You guys know, oh my gosh. Anyway, so this is one that I already have a tutorial out for, but I will be doing a sew along with it. I think it's really pretty. It's so sweet. I also have a separate video on how to do the embroidery work. It's super easy embroidery work, especially if you're a beginner. It's mainly lazy daisies. And really, the spots where she does have a bullion rose, it would be super easy to just sub for a lazy daisy flower if that's intimidating you. Just take it to a lazy daisy flower. No one's going to know, you know? And if that makes if that's what's keeping you from making something like this, well, just just take it down a notch. It's okay. You'll you'll get there one day. It's a journey. It is a journey. So uh, I think it's really pretty, and it would just make a great you know first first uh, photos take home uh, outfit whatever. Um, it just it's just really pretty. So and it would be pretty without the embroidery work and just the fabric. Oh, the fabric. The fabric is. The Swiss flannel, my first time using Swiss flannel, Other up to this point I've used a super fine flannel, and I've talked about this before, the super fine flannel is, is lovely. It's the cozy, super soft, it pleats beautifully. Um, I actually haven't pleated this fabric, so I'd, I would think it pleats well, but I actually haven't done it. But this stuff is divine. This is the heirloom stuff that... Um, like, you wouldn't really, I mean, you could, but you really want to, you, you traditionally want to, like, blah, 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 what I'm trying to say. Um, this Swiss flannel is much easier paired with, like, fine lace and stuff. The cozy, super fine flannel, you could put lace with it if you want to, but it really fits on the Swiss flannel. It's really, that's the heirloom quality there. And then, of course, there's our little Jamie bubble. I've seen so many of y'all make this. This was a sew long. Um, I've done a number of tutorials on the CC Jamie before, but this is a sew long version, and I've seen so many of your all finishes finished products, and I am just delighted that you guys had fun with this. Um, and and I know no one called me out on it, but in the sew long, I kept saying organza. This is actually organdy collar, and I knew that, and I linked the correct thing, but I kept saying organza, but it's organdy. So basically, organdy, if you don't know, is a cotton. It's kind of like the cotton version of organza. Or organza. So silk, you can have a silk organza, you can have a polyester organza. Um, I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe you can have a cotton organza. I think the cotton organza becomes organdy. But anywho, so it's really sweet and I'm really happy that you guys participated and you shared your your little um, bubbles with me and I got, a, I got an email from a woman that was like, she... And she's fixing it. It's no big deal. Um, but it was one of those emails. I, I went, oh my goodness. Um, she had made this this mistake. And, you know, you remember back in those days. Like I say, it's a journey. And I remember back in those days making these mistakes where you just go, well, what was I thinking? You know, how did I end up here? And how do I get out? Like, if you guys are there, please email me or leave a comment or something. Oh, we've got Henry. Are you done watching your cartoons? Can you go potty? So, at any rate, then... I got to this, and this is a gown that I was inspired. I saw a technique through Threads Magazine. Side note, Threads Magazine, I've, I've seen a number of the magazines, right? Australia's talking about embroidery, the one that's out now, um, and Threads Magazine, I am absolutely in love. I have never seen a magazine like this. The only one that really touches is Australian smocking and embroidery because it has so many of the patterns, but it doesn't have the techniques. like. Threads Magazine is chock full of techniques. I've gone and 
Sorry, Henry's in the background now. I've gotten three of their issues now, and every time I open it up, and I'm like, I learn so much, right? It's, it's incredible. So I saw this technique online, and I was like, I have to do, I was like, I ha it, just, it just screamed at me, all right? It pulled me in, and it so inspired me, and I was like, I have to do something with that. So that drafted this, which I was talking about before with um, learning that this was a little bit too tight, it helped me out draft this thing up. And this was a little bit of a doozy to draft because of the ribbon and what arc to do and, you know, making it tangent and all that sort of stuff. And, and so, anyway, so I have the sleeves here. And this is the pattern that I have in the works. I'm not ready to release it by any means. I actually have moved on to other patterns. But I've made a number of these since. And I just think it's, I don't know, there's something about it that really speaks to me. This one is a silk tool with silk dupinone ribbon and then the under the slip is um, a Italian silk, um, Duchess silk satin. So lots of silk. <laughs> um, not the easiest to sew if you're a beginner, but if you want a challenge, here you go. This is something that is new. It's just something that's different than like, I mean, let's be real. How many like, if you're not feeling as inspired by like the traditional you know, French lace with the flowers and the whatever smocking and you know what I'm talking about. The dress has kind of been done over and over and over again. This is something that is just, it, it had me go and had my juices flowing again, right? Um, and there's nothing wrong with a good pastel dress that it has a ton of flowers on it. That's, that's all fine. But sometimes you just need to branch out and just kind of like, you know, spread your wings a little bit. So, this is Henry's um, second, Henry, what are you doing? This was Henry's second birthday outfit. Of course, we did not have a party this year because of the whole COVID and everything like that, but I still wanted to do photos. So we went to a nearby park that nobody was there. We went early in the morning. Um, we kept the, the, the girls in the van with the DVD on and the car running and stuff. And we just did a couple photos of Henry, and they're really sweet, and I'm glad that we have them, you know, to look back on. So he's so into cars right now. You can hear him playing in the background with his cars as I talk about it. He's so into cars. So I did a little embroidery motif off of cars. It's supposed to be like a Model A. Model A. Um, and I think it's really sweet. So there's that. That Oh, this pattern is, um, the top of it is the Creations by Mache pattern, and the bottom of it are the pants from the Children's Corner Boys Collection thing. So, then we've got Easter. Henry's Easter uh, shirt has some drawn thread on it. It's my first time doing drawn thread. It's delightful. I actually filmed doing this, so I could put together a video for y'all. Um, sometime. I've got so many, I've got so many things to edit, y'all. It's insane and I've got so many videos in the queue and uploaded and here and there and I'm, like play on the calendar it's crazy so anyway so then I've got his pants and I threw on some embroidery work on his pants because I only had the drawn thread and even Charlie I was looking at him going you know compared especially compared to the girls like this poor boy only has this row of drawn thread and even Charlie was like he said something about it and so then I threw on some some embroidery work on, on his shorts He's so into talking right now. And I forgot to put an eye for the duck, but that's just gonna how it stays because I think that this is a memory, right? Like I was so involved with this and that and whatever, your duck didn't have an eye and that's part of the memory of it. <laughs> so then I've got Audrey's Easter dress and paired with that was the first time that I used the petticoat, I think it was, I think it was the first time I used the petticoat. This is the one from um, fa uh, blah, 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 Farmhouse Fabrics. <laughs> them. Um, it's it's really a sweet little petticoat and so if you're looking for one go you know and you don't want to make it just grab one from them. Um, so hers has some drawn thread on it. It also has embroidery on it and I did a video that it's just a it's just a pretty video. There's not really much uh, instruction to it but I did a pretty video kind of going over the embroidery work for this one and then Oh, I also used some sequins for the girls. These little button sequins, um, uh, they're mother of pearl little sequin things, and I saw these. I've had them, like, for five years, okay? 
I saw them and, I, and when I first saw them, I was like, these should be nestled into flowers. And I didn't quite do the design that's in my mind because I don't have the eye for it. It's like more evolved than the ones I'm showing you. But aren't they sweet? They just had like a little pop of, of like, of something, right? Like another little level of like shimmer and, and just another texture. And it, I think they're really sweet. Anywho, so this is Daisy's gown. I did draft this, and it, I like the way it fits. Um, it fit on her. Uh, it's got the petal sleeves that I drafted on the ribbon dress from the threads technique, and then it's got some Madeira um, hem on the bottom, which I have a, a video on how to do Madeira hem. And all of the Easter stuff was linen. Um, like I said, I will have it all linked down below. And I did a little bonnet for Sweet Daisy too for her Easter outfit. So those are my makes. Um, I have gone through farmhouse fabrics and I've put together my order for summer. Always super excited, right? You're at the point where you've ordered, Henry, you're at the point where you've ordered it and you're waiting for it to arrive and it's just the most exciting time. Every time, and I've, I've done this for 10 years and every time, it is just super exciting. You're like, is it gonna come today? Is it gonna come today? Is it gonna come? And then you get it and you're like, yeah! Anywho, so that video will be coming. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to vamp up the channel, so I'm, I'm really putting putting it forward, and hopefully y'all are enjoying it and, and learning and growing and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I hope this video was, was inspiring and motivating you to go and sew. We all have a lot more time than we are used to. Well, I shouldn't say that. We are all home a lot more than we are used to. So hopefully you're able to. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see y'all in the next one. I appreciate y'all for watching. And I hope you guys have a good day.